Hello everyone and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for being here today and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be working on these angel wings today. I have been obsessed with angels for most of my life and have been on a real angel artwork kick lately and this is just one of my latest endeavors. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to start here with prepping uh, these molds and these are available in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com. As you can see here, I'm using more of like a makeup sponge and eyeshadow sponge applicator. Um, in some of my previous videos, I have prepped my molds with the gold edging using more of a paintbrush. I felt like it got everywhere. It was such a mess. And then I saw somebody on Instagram using this sort of eyeshadow brush applicator. So I thought I'd use that and it still was like just as messy. <laughs> like you can see there, it's still getting kind of all over the mold. So I would recommend you find what you're comfortable with and go with that and use that. I do end up uh, turning this brush over and actually using the other side of the brush, which is more like a paintbrush, uh, but this is a makeup tool. Now that they are all prepped, we're gonna come in and use some pigments. So I'm only gonna use a couple of things in, for these wings. I'm gonna use my antique lace, which is in that cup right there. It's a really beautiful light golden color. Also gonna use some matte white. Now with the matte colors, I say this in every video, I just wanna make sure I say it again. You want to get some in your cup. I like to break it up with my stick a little bit and then I will add in some rubbing alcohol here, which is in this spray bottle. And then just mix it up and kind of get it like a paste consistency. So I had put way too much rubbing alcohol in here, so I ended up adding some more matte pigment in there just to thicken it up. And we're going to use some rose gold pigment. All of these pigments and the glitter will be available in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com. And the rose gold and the antique lace pigments are very, very popular in my store. Beautiful colors. And then here we're going to use some of my True Love Biodegradable Glitter. And this is a glitter combination that I made myself. It's only available at Dryer Days Art Studio. It is a mix of biodegradable gold and biodegradable pink in chunky and fine sizes. It's a really, really, really pretty color. I use it in a lot of stuff because it goes with a lot and it's just a very elegant color and we're going to use some gold metallic pigment as well which is what we have already applied uh, to the edges of the mold here i decided to go with stone coats heat resistant countertop epoxy resin for these um, i like to use a more heat resistant resin for my coasters and these are coaster molds but you could definitely use these as decorative pieces too and even hang them on the wall if you wanted. Uh, but I decided to make these as coasters and just adding some resin here to my pigments. I like to do about a 10% ratio of pigment to resin. And I do make it a little bit thicker when I'm doing my coasters because um, I like to have them heavily pigmented and I don't like the resin to move around too much. I'm gonna use my Clever Measure cups here. Uh, these are disposable, I only use them one time. You could probably uh, use a baby wipe or something and wipe them out and reuse them. Uh, but I really liked there what I was showing you on the size is all the different measuring increments that they have there, clearly marked on the side. Uh, they're really nice cups, they're very durable. And just wanted to share those with you guys. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. I'll have everything that I am using linked in the description for this video. And I will just mix up my pigments and my glitter here and we will be ready to rock and roll. And as I like to do, I'm gonna start with just a little bit of clear resin on the surface of the mold here. I'm not gonna quite cover the entire thing. I find when you put the clear down first and then add the pigmented resin on top of it, you can get some really cool effects. So I just wanna get a really nice base here and kind of essentially get that surface uh, wet, quote unquote, uh, so that I'm not applying my pigmented resin to just a dry surface. White is a very heavy opaque pigment, but especially a matte, uh, you're gonna have this sink 
And that's a reason that I prep with the clear too, because I don't just want a white blob on the surface of these wings. And so that's where I'm just sort of drizzling it on here. I'm going to leave some empty space. I'm going to come in with that antique lace and really try to um, give it some dimension so that it's not just that flat white, really big blob of white on the wings. And I'm gonna come back in with some matte white here and just keep blending my pigments. I did want these to be more opaque. I didn't want any clear to show through, so I'm just gonna sort of keep building and building. And that'll give you some nice effects too on both sides of the molds um, if you're kind of coming in and out and using different pigments and not just putting, again, just one splotch of one color in one spot. And this is the gold metallic. And this is that True Love Biodegradable Sparkler, only available at dryerdaysartstudio.com. And just gonna add that here because I want this to sink a little bit and be on the, to, um, the bottom side of this mold. I want you to be able to see it. So I wanna make sure that I add that while I still have some clear spots going on here because I am gonna add some of that rose gold probably on top of it. And I'm gonna keep building this and building this. And the thicker you make your resin, and the reason I like to make my resin thicker, more pigmented, more glitter, um, and let it sit for a little while to even kind of thicken up even more, is that if I wanna add some more glitter so that it's showing on this side of the coaster and not sinking, um, that thicker resin, that thicker consistency is gonna help it kind of sit more on top as this resin's curing up. And I'm just gonna hit with the heat a little bit to really marry these colors together to pop some bubbles. Please, I try to say this in every video, do not use a torch or open flame on any of your silicone molds at all. It could and it probably will ruin them permanently. So please just use a heat gun or a spritz of rubbing alcohol and that should be enough to help pop any of your micro bubbles that you have coming up. And this right here is the rose gold pigment. And I will just keep building until the coasters are totally full. And now the part we all wait for, the demolding. With my gloves on, this is about 24 hours later. I'm gonna gently loosen up the edges a little bit. Gently coming this way, going with the shape of the wing I found. The feathered part in the back here really helped get that mold off, but it, it demolded very nicely. But to minimize pulling, I would go with that side there you can see the beautiful gold edging from putting that metallic on first and now we don't even have to do a flood coat if we don't want to because it cured in with that resin so it, it's harder to scuff off than if we added it at the end with say a paint marker and then had to do a flood coat so it kind of saves us a little bit of a step there which is nice and you can see there the effects that we got from laying that clear down first and really helping those colors blend in together just getting a few extra little pieces off there. So that is the side right there facing up when we were looking down at the resin when I made it. And now this is the obviously the side that was flush. And you can see just the detail work in these molds. They are beautiful. That true love glitter really adds some shine in there. I'm really happy with how these turned out. I love these molds. They're very durable, high quality reusable and they are available at dryerdaysartstudio.com so thank you all so much for watching please like comment and subscribe for more free resin and fluid art tutorials and until next time everybody keep on pouring <laughs>